Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Welcome to a special video. Today, we are taking a look at a Tough Stuff Overlander. I have never seen an RV like this, and this video is gonna be a little different. If you guys seen the show before, we always give you the three things we love and the three things we don't love. I have nothing to compare this to, so I don't know what's good about it and what's bad about it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna show the whole thing, we're gonna demonstrate it, we're gonna pop it up, and then while we're doing the review, we're gonna tell you things that we really like about it and things that we don't like about it. Will, we're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you that true unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs and Will. Yeah. I mean everything I know, when it comes to RVs. That's crazy. Uh, I'm super excited to be taking a look at our first Overlander on the show. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. You know, when you first came to me and showed me this and we were like, I can't wait to do this, I was like, why it's so small and then we started like playing with it and messing around with it yep I'm like this thing is so cool yep yep so i can't wait to show you guys everything it's got and where are we today oh we are at sunny's um what is it camp sorry sunny's no no you're fine sunny's, sunny's camp sunny's rv yeah sunny's in RV duncan in duncan south carolina yep we have a link to their website down below yes. we appreciate the hospitality also guys we're going to be doing one of these yeah. in a few minutes which is also an overlander i just realized that's a toy hauler isn't it oh it is yeah so we're going to be looking at that too cool but will we're looking at this one let's begin all right model is tough stuff overlander the trailer size this is a little weird because this isn't your conventional rv trailer size is 143 which is about 12 feet 143 inches by 74 inches by 55 inches okay the box size is 68 inches by 61 inches by 26 inches and it's calling it the tear weight is 1654 pounds and then it says atm which is 3307 pounds so I think again, that's gross weight. Yeah, so it, it is a little bit confusing when it comes to, again, it's not a traditional RV. Right. But up front here, Will, right here's the hitch. We have an articulating hitch. This is going to be one of the things that I would say I really like about this um, because, again, when you're an overlander and you're going off-road, uh, you're not going to crack your frame. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. And something else that I really like is that it does have an emergency brake. This is light enough that we could actually move by just me and Will. And so when you're set up where you're going, you just lock that into place. Right here, um, you have the wheel again, so you can move it to the right campsite. And then you crank it up and crank it down, level it all out. And then check out what we got going on over here. Okay. So right over here is going to be like a little sink area, right? Yeah, that's interesting. You know, you got you got this here. You probably that's fill a it hand up. pump. If yep. you push it. Okay, that's a hand pump. Um, and we're just going to kind of open up everything and explore it. This is just going to be some storage. Cool. And then there, that's where your propane tank would go. Okay. Right there. Also for your water, this actually going to be like your potable water fill. Potable, potable. Uh, you have a key lock and everything, and this is where the water access is. And then here, uh, you just have some plug if you need power. Okay, coming on down the side here, Will, let's show all this cool stuff. Okay. Look at this, 1,000 watt inverter, uh, nice battery right there. Uh, battery disconnect switch, inverter, solar, power socket, and it even tells you your tank fill. Very cool. Cool. And I love this door material as well. It's very... Pretty sturdy. Yep, exactly. Right over here. Okay. Just, just a, a drawer. Just a drawer. And then more storage underneath there. It's amazing what they were able to fit in this and on this. And then right here, look, we got more storage. Nice drawer. Nice solid, little drawer. All the doors too, all metal. Yep, exactly. Nice drawers, nice storage, and everything. And then, oh, yeah. I love that. Right. Makes it, no, you're secure. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Pro Comps. I love those. All-terrain sport tires. They're MS 31-10.50 R15LT. Very nice tire, single axle. And then right up here we have the tent. And with that, we're actually gonna 
get help from Houston, who works here at the dealership, to show us how easy it was to set this up. Great, to help demonstrate showing the tent is Houston from Sonny's. Hey, how are you? Welcome to the show. Yes, sir, thank you. What's your extension if somebody wants to get a hold of you? 2253. 2253, ask for him and he'll help you out. Uh, so how do we get this uh, pop top open? Yeah, super simple. All we do here is unlock these locks. Okay. So nice and easy, push down the chain a little bit. Yep, you see that? Come right over nice. the same thing on this side here as well. All right. And then the straps. Yep, and the straps is undo. Cool. All the way around. All right. Got your stuff over there. Right. So okay. what do we do next? Yep, it's actually going to just be super simple. You just give it a little push forward. Look at that. Oh, wow. Boom. Just like that. So uh, that will start us with the tent. And then uh, we're going to climb up here. Okay. This is a little bit tougher before you got to use some of your back. It's tough stuff. That's right. <laughs> there we go. Well, that ain't a U step. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Would you look at that? Go. And then this is a, this can be rolled up when it's not raining. Over the top here. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, we'll show, show what's going on on the inside. Okay. There. Let me get this plugged back for you. So now, how much weight does this hold? Uh, so that will actually hold about 700 pounds, I believe. Wow. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's awesome. So yeah, it's pretty simple in here. It's just basically a big tent with, with a much more comfortable bottom. Yeah. Absolutely. How many um how many uh, people can sleep up there? Well, probably two? At least two, yeah. At least two, wow. Yeah, is there power up here? Uh, there is. Power, there's LED lights right too, there. Um, around, so you can plug in some lights. Let me uh, see. Uh, there's probably power on both sides, but I don't. S I only see the one side. Perfect. And then let's set up the other awning wheel. Okay. You come on down. So this awning can be adjusted to uh, further out if you wanted to, away from the tent. Uh, but for now, we'll just open it up where it's at. Make sure to tie it down. Sure. All right. There we go. Yeah. You know? Nice big awning. We're on asphalt, so it's not going to poke in like, right, right. but you know. Good for demonstrating. Perfectly. Yeah. Right? Nice little awning. You got that one? That's, up? yeah. And it's nice and big. Let me, it's a little hard with the sun. There we go. Yeah. Nice big awning. Very cool. And again, yeah. it'll be tighter once you have it in the ground Looks and everything. Into the dirt. Yeah. Get it all rolled up and then can you demonstrate it uh putting closing it back up yeah absolutely fast forward this part jen <laughs> Great, so that was real easy to yeah. set up. Uh, now, if you could show us closing it up. Yeah, so we're just gonna do the reverse. Uh, so we'll uh, pull up the ladder first, get that all locked into place. Obviously, the uh, ladder will strap up in place. Here, I'll hold the camera. You might have to give my hand well. You tall people can get this set up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, flip it over. Yep, flip it over into. Oh, actually. Yep. Oh, yep. Okay. There you go. Is that right? Oh, and then there's the gray strap right there. Yep. Which strap? Oh. This strap right here will help us pull it down. And then tuck her in. like a pop-up yeah you just gotta make sure all the fabric's nice and tight 
in there. Cool. Yeah, ready? Yep. Mine's on closed on this side. Okay. And then it's got a little cable under here. Yep. Okay, ready? Yep. It's harder than it looks. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There you go. Lock it. Yep. There we go. There we go. And then the strap. Yep. Up to, down to. Awesome! Thank awesome. you so much, brother. Yes, sir. Again, how do people get a hold of you? So you can call me on my direct extension at 2253. And again, we're at Sonny's in what part of South Carolina are we? Duncan, South Carolina. Duncan, South Carolina. And again, they sell Grand Design. We're going to take a look at that Imperial Outdoors, Free Solos, New Mars, Grand Designs, Alliance. So if you're in the area, make sure you tell them that you saw them on Matt's RV Reviews. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks so much, Houston. And then wrapping it up, Will, I mean, look, coming around the back, this is awesome. So this big thing is just a more storage. Look at this. That's awesome. This is absolutely amazing. Now, I would imagine the person who wants this is like maybe hunting or fishing, right? Right, right. And like just putting a whole bunch of different tools and gizmos and gadgets. And yeah. Everything. License plate holder, a little light to light it up. And then this. Okay. Oh, wow. Very nice. I mean, look how big and deep that right. is. Right. This unit is the smallest unit we've ever reviewed, but it has some of the best storage. I mean, because it's not an RV. Right. But still, I mean, what they were able to accomplish, and then look right here. There's a power fan so you can vent out this area. Very nice. And then, Will. Yeah. Do you know what this is for? What? That D ring? No. What? That's so if you get stuck in some place and you gotta oh. take a tow thing and pull it out, you're able to pull it out because yeah. it's attached to the frame. Cool. Also, Did attached... you see the hitch too? Oh, yeah, hitch right there. I'm sure it's not for towing, but. And then also attached is this, which is your stabilizing jack. And let me tell you something. That's one of the best stabilizing jacks, most stable yeah. stabilizing jacks in the industry. Exactly. And then underneath here, is a spare tire spare tire carrier and then look at that suspension again this little unit is designed better than most rvs but again it's not an rv it's an overlander right you know look at this well why don't you finish it up okay just show us everything all okay, the little so nice little drawer right here uh -huh. oh and these lock in the out position as well more storage underneath and it does have like a little fabric down there too to help keep, keep things from sliding around all right here i think this is a kitchen area if i remember correctly nope no, this is just more storage right there a nice big drawer with okay. lots of accessories and stuff yes to help you uh get camping and another small ouch ah. underneath ah. <laughs> Actually, if, if, if we were to add dislikes, yes, I personally hate little things like that. And this is a finger pincher. Yes, and especially on both sides, like just do one side so I can do like that. Right. You know, right. if you're, you're going to do it. Just opinion. Yeah. And then here, this is going to be your kitchen area. I think. And if I have to have another dislike, there's no bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a little bit of storage up top here. Oh, and that's pass through. So if you have fishing poles or whatever, that yep. would be very nice. Yep. A little power there. Pump switch, light switch, everything. All right, here you got a nice big drawer. Wow, look how long it is. Right, okay. And then here, so this one I really dislike it because again, we're not doing likes and dislikes at the end. So you have to do one down, open it that way, and then one there. Man, that's really a finger weird. pincher. So then. When you do that, you have a nice sink here. Okay, nice. Which is actually a good size for how small this is. And a two burner cooktop. It doesn't say who makes it. That's okay. Yeah. And then underneath, just a little extra counter space right there. I do like this though. I mean, yeah. you can definitely tell that it's amazing quality. Definitely. 
I think that about wraps it up, right? Uh, well, we totally forgot something. You know what, what time it is? It's n <laughs> Close <laughs> it all short. up. If it's slow, I mean. Oh, quick disconnect for propane right there as well. Yes, sir. Okay, ready? I'm ready when you are. Okay. Get it all up. Well, you didn't lock it up. It's, it's now time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Okay, so we're gonna do the MSRP and we're gonna wrap it up. Cool. So surprisingly, this actually isn't that bad of a price. Uh, when it comes to the next Overlander, you see, you'll see there's a big price difference. <laughs> uh, MSRP on this is $21,500. Right, it's not bad at all. I feel like that's a mistake. Again, um, it's not for me, but you know, to see what all goes into this. Well, one, if you guys are ready to buy one of these, go to mattsrvreviews.com, click that first contact tab. We're gonna hook you up with either Sonny's RV or Tom's Camperland in Arizona. They're both part of our RV retailer network of dealerships that can sell you one of these. And um, you know they're gonna make sure that you get a better price than that. But it's one of those things. There's not a lot of profit on these, not a lot of margin, not a lot of wiggle room. But again, we're gonna, we appreciate everybody who watches the show. And so we're gonna help you out, get a really good price on it. And again, for what you're getting for like, the amount of like metal and what I see is like construction and welding and molding and everything. Uh, I think that's actually pretty reasonable. Right. I Again, agree. when when you guys see our next Overlander, you'll understand <laughs> why we think twenty one thousand five hundred is pretty good. And then again, um, just to add a little bit of dark coat material, just really sturdy, really nice, awesome Overlander trailer. Yeah. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys, absolutely everybody so much for watching. Do me a huge favor. This isn't an RV, guys. Let us know if you like videos like this. Will and I, we travel two hours out of our way, literally to film two units, this one and the next one. So let us know if you like Overlanders and stuff like this, or let us know if you want us to stick with the grand designs and the alliances and everything. Right. Uh, we're, we're fine doing either or. Um, we just want to hear what you guys have to say. And again, if you are interested in buying this, all you got to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com, click that first contact tab, and we'll hook you up with either Sonny's in South Carolina or Tom's Camperland in Arizona. That's right. Will, is there anything you want to say? Of course, thank you so much for watching. Again, this is really unique, and I know you know it's not going to be for everybody. It's not going to be for most people. Um, but for somebody looking at this, I think this is totally awesome. Uh, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know some of the things you like and dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so yes. much for watching, and thank you to Houston for helping yes. us today. Huge thanks. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and Will, we'll see you next time.